welcome to leaf hydroponic farms today we are going to talk about setting up grow bags for hydroponic systems grow bag system in hydroponics is used for the wine crops because the wine crops they grow for a longer time more than 6 months and if you grow them in the nft system we have seen that they give good production but they are more prone to diseases when you grow them in the grow bags they will be less prone to diseases and secondly if the disease strikes one plant roots or anything then the disease doesn't spread to the next plant or to the next grow bag now what we use for this we use these grow bags which are 40 by 24 by 24 40 cm by 24 cm by 24 cm these grow bags are 150 micron thick black from inside and white from outside the black from inside because we want to cut the light for the roots roots should not receive right light and white from outside because the bag doesn't heat up too much in the heat so this kind of bags we use for setting up wine crops the wine crops could be tomato cherry tomato bell pepper beans or any other you select uh, the wine crops they are trellised upward which we will talk in a separate video that how the trellising or or how the wine crops are to be trained today we will speak only about setting up the grow bag system now these grow bags are placed in a row in different rows in a poly house of 1500 square meter you can have 30 rows of the grow bag properly spaced where the space or the distance between two lines is 2.5 feet and the plants will have a separation of 2 feet now how to set up these lines one thing very important is that inside the poly house there is a column and there is a row of columns so row of column should be so placed in the grow bag setup that they do not interfere with your moving or with your future uh, management of the crop in any way so that can happen only if you will take the column in the center of the grow bag so first line you will set up in the in the poly house is these lines of the columns here you lay the bricks set up the uh, bags and then you proceed to both the sides of the column now when you are placing the grow bags don't place them on the weed mat directly because it is not good it will give you problems at a later stage whereas if you place them on something raised 4 4 1/2 4 inches it will be better and the best option is to put them on a pair of bricks as if you will see here we have placed them on a pair of bricks like this you see now the distance between the a pair of bricks is equivalent to the width of a brick like this so what you do is you lay a row of the bricks a stretcher bond and the header and then you pick up the header brick and place it like this and 1 inch between the two bricks and then place the poly bag on to it the grow bag on to it like this you can always set up the grow bags in your poly house now the distance or the space between the two poly bag a uh, grow bag is equivalent to one brick width like this in a poly house which is 36 meter long as our poly house we have 96 grow bags in one line why 96 we have kept we could have kept 106 grow bags but we do not want to do that because we have kept a space at the end of the line sufficient for us to lower the tomatoes vines and then take them laterally which we will have to do at a later stage once you set up these grow bags then you fit them with drip irrigation system regarding the drip irrigation system we will discuss in greater detail much greater detail telling you everything about the drip irrigation in our future videos now what goes inside the grow bag you can have anything inside the grow bag like the dutch bucket system you can fill the grow bags with perlite you can fill the grow bags with leca you can fill the grow bags with the you know uh, coco peat here we are using coco peat because it is the most economical thing to use now the best option is why you should use these material because in hydroponic farming the production cost should be lowered to the minimum the reason being that in western world the inputs are sold in dollars bought in dollars and the output are also sold in dollars whereas in our case we buy input in dollars if they are imported 
and we sell our production rupees. So the project goes non-viable. Now here the cost of one bag will be 15 rupees if you take it in bulk and the cost of one Dutch bucket is about 100 rupees and it supports two plants. This a grow bag also supports two plants. The only advantage of Dutch bucket over the grow bag is that you can collect back the nutrient. But in this case, in the case of grow bags, if you select a weed mat, which, is, which can percolate water, in that case, you can give washing to these grow bags once in every 15 days. I will talk about the system, automatic system for giving washing to these grow bags once in fortnight that we will discuss later in some separate video. Now, what we have done here is we have made a base in the grow bag of the grit, 8 mm grit, normal stone grit. You don't worry about it because it is also neutral. It is also nascent. It is also non-organic material. So the uh, uh, care should be taken that there is no uh, this uh, calcium carbonate pieces in it because they can get dissolved with acid, mild acids even. So you make a base and then fill it with cocoa peat, bang it on the ground a couple of times so that it settles properly, the band, uh, bag expands properly, but don't press it too hard. If you press the cocoa peat in the grow bag very hard, then the, it will be difficult for the roots to grow properly into the uh, grow bag. So then your plant will not put up luxuriant growth. So like this, you can set up the rows of the grow bag, how to make a distance, uh, proper distance between the two grow bags. We have calculated it. Once you set up a line in the column, you set up a line in the next column. In between the two columns, you space the bricks at 53 centimeters from outside of one brick to the inside of the other brick. And then one inch gap between the two bricks, place the second brick from there again, uh, you know, measure 53 centimeter. And like this, your six lines will very properly merge or five lines will properly get placed between the two columns and two rows will be on the columns. Like this, in a poly house of 1500 square meter, you will get about 30 rows. And if there are 100, uh, you know, bags in one row, so you will have 3000 bags and 3000 bags will support 6000 plants because we are planting two plant in one grow bag. The capacity of this one grow bag is 22 liter and 22 liter is sufficient for two uh, plants of either the uh, cherry tomato or the tomato or the cucumber. But we plant only one plant of the bell pepper. The reason being that well, bell pepper, the shoots at the top, they are bifurcated and two plants are, uh, two shoots are allowed to grow from single plant of the bell pepper. So it will make two plants over. Whereas in case of the tomato and in case of cherry tomato and the cucumber, we take only one leading shoot and eliminate all the suckers and all lateral shoots from the plant. Like this, you can have a very nice setup. These grow bags are irrigated by drip irrigation. As discussed, we will talk it later. Now, if you find that our videos are useful to you, please like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we put up a new video on our channel. We will keep on disseminating this knowledge about the hydroponic and we will keep on helping people to set up the system, modern system of food production, healthy food production, hygienic food production. Thank you very much.